Cruz Brothers claims to be a boxing-based fighting game, but what it actually is is a group of anime people with otherworldly anime superpowers beating the shit out of each other. All of the characters have the same four kinds of punches and basic moves, so the things that distinguish them are their anime superpowers. I found that rather than actual boxing, most battles in Cruz Brothers were decided by who used their superpowers the best, and in that way it reminded me a lot of really old fighting games before Street Fighter 2 came out. And of course, some after Street Fighter 2 came out. You can combo enemies and you can chain your special attacks into combos, but really you don't need to. Before I saw all the anime superpowers, I made the incorrect assumption that this game would require a lot of basic melee like a normal boxing game might. But as soon as you learn that you need to spam your special attacks at every convenience, the game becomes a lot more fun and a lot easier. You will no longer feel like you're lost. And while it is fun to watch your opponent ripple in and out of existence at the speed of lightning or have someone leave anime energy grenades lying around on the ground, a downside to games that rely so heavily on special attacks is that the AI can be easily cheesed if you figure it out. This is a problem inherent to most fighting games I enjoy, where it's simply a matter of finding the special attack that works the best and timing that one so you win the match. In the case of Cruise Brothers, unfortunately all three of the playable characters have a very similar special attack where they dash straight through their opponent. Now the game isn't exactly a cakewalk with this special move, especially the later fights. You do have to time it properly, and read your opponents well, but it's definitely still cheesing the game, and I only lost twice with this method, while if I played the game normally I might have lost several more times. Now you may or may not be aware my stance on cheesing games is if the game is meant to be challenging and you can cheese it, that's a fault of the developer, not of the player. The developer should have seen that the game could be easily cheesed, and they should have put in measures to prevent that, such as the case with Cruise Brothers. As was already said, the game is not completely void of challenge if you use the cheese, as it still does require proper timing, but it makes the game significantly easier than it's meant to be. That is to say, I had fun dissecting the AI's behavior and using my overpowered special move on them, but it probably would have been a better experience if the special moves were more balanced. The game does place an incredible emphasis on its story mode, it seems to be the main drawing point of the game, so perhaps the story will be worth it alone for you, although the voice acting is quite terrible, in spite of the quality of the script. But as far as I can see, there are three primary reasons to play Cruise Brothers. There's the story, which is probably the most outwardly interesting and appreciable reason. There is the anime superpowers, which are incredibly fun to watch in action. And there's Breaking the AI, which I've already done for you in this video, so you can't do that one, sorry. I am being really nice to Cruise Brothers because I liked it a lot. It's fun to watch, it's super over the top, and I really like this kind of this kind of fighting game where it just really comes down to who can use their special move better than the other. But uh it's really lacking in depth. There are features like dodging through an enemy's attack, parrying, and other things like counters, but these are all really basic mechanics that work the same for every player, so it mostly comes down to reading the AI. It's not something for fans of fighting games by any means, which is great because I'm not I'm not super good at normal normal fighting games. So for me specifically, it was incredibly fun to watch and play, and I had a blast. But if you actually want to play a fighting game, you probably won't like it. 